Here's some Brexit drama now. British Prime Minister Boris Johnson's brother has resigned from Parliament. It happened just one day after lawmakers rejected the leader's bid to hold a snap election. Amy Kellogg is reporting for us from London. Amy. Hi, Harris. Well, a lot of people woke up this morning still reeling from all the chaos and mudslinging of the last 48 hours, wondering who is going to come out on top, who will get the last laugh, and frankly, how much longer Brits are going to have to un uh, endure all of this uncertainty. And then, as you mentioned, there was another bit of drama uh, this morning when Boris Johnson's brother Joe resigned uh, from his job as an MP and a minister in Johnson's in Johnson's government. Joe Johnson tweeted, quote, in recent weeks, I've been torn between family loyalty and the national interest. It is an unresolvable tension. Now, though Johnson's call for a general election in October got shot down yesterday, he made what people were saying sure looked like a campaign stop today. The subject, fighting crime and better policing. But the first three questions put to him by the press were basically, if your own brother doesn't even have faith in you, why should the public? He admitted, that Brexit divides families. There was probably some relief, though, uh, in the visit Boris Johnson had today from U.S. Vice President Mike Pence, who reiterated the administration's support for Brexit, and he carried a message from President Trump that the U.S. is ready to immediately negotiate a free trade deal with the U.K. Fantastic to have you in. And we will drive that uh, free trade agreement forward. Of course, uh, the, the U.S. economy is a, is a wonderful, massive uh, uh, opportunity for, for UK firms, but it is still the case that, you know, you, the, the United States of America, the people of the United States of America do not eat any British lamb or, or beef uh, uh, or haggis uh, from Scotland. I think Harris, for the uninitiated, uninitiated, haggis is sort of a sausage made from sheep offal. Uh, but back to the most important business here at hand today, uh, it's all far from resolved what is going to happen in the, coming, uh, in the coming months, I would say, and then with Brexit. But Prime Minister Johnson has said that he wants to put another vote to the House on Monday, asking yet again if he can go ahead and hold a general election next month, because he feels he can't really go on this way with his hands tied by the Parliament as they are now in this approach to Brexit. Harris. Well, and even the president was talking about him yesterday, saying that, you know, he's ready for the battle, Boris Johnson, and he's watching the situation. Amy Kellogg, thank you very much.